A second grade class project at St. Francis of the Lakes Catholic School has taken off beyond anyone's expectations. Our A.J. Feldman has more on how this happened. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of postcards making their way to Kelly Ingalls' second grade classroom. Oh my gosh, we, like, how did we get this many? How did we get this much mail during spring break? You can thank social media for that. After the St. Francis of the Lakes classroom joined a project where schools send postcards to each other, they got a less than stellar response. A few Facebook posts went viral and the mail started pouring in. Well, I really didn't know that it was going to happen and I thought maybe we'd get, you know, 50 or 60 postcards, but it's gone way beyond that. They're having trouble counting the massive stacks of postcards they've gotten from all across the globe. And they're from all over the United States and from um, Antarctica and Indonesia and Germany and lots of places. We've gotten some that we can't read because they're from the Czech Republic and they're written in a different language and so it's been really a cool experience. Colorado, Alaska and California. The kids enjoy learning new things about the people and places they've gotten postcards from. I like when you look at the postcards and you learn about different animals and uh, you know what the people's favorite food is and their name. The part where we read them all and see um, what state they're from and how, like, um, like how you learn some things about the state. While they're improving their geography and math, they're also learning something even more valuable. Learning about just how really great people are and how much people care about us. In our little town, in our little school here in Brainerd, all of those people from all over the world um, think we're important enough to send postcards to, so it's pretty cool. People are kind enough to get us postcards and send them here, all the way from different states and countries. Reporting in Brainerd, A.J. Feldman, Lakeland News. Pretty cool project. Engel says they'll most likely do the project again next year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.